Hey folks, Thrifty Gamer 83 here today to bring you my take on the most boring aspect of gaming load times. They are perhaps the biggest crippler of video games, which largely corresponds to overhyped marketing, holiday buzzwords and keywords thrown in there just to get you, the buyer, to pay for these intolerable wretches. Now, while they do offer patches nowadays, what we are looking at is Mega Man X Command Mission. Yes, I was playing it. Yes. It's a little bit choppy, but bear in mind the load times for Mega Man Command Mission X are truly, truly some of the most awful that you can ever imagine having to contend with. Now, I think gamers today are spoiled. They, we have this convenience that we can load games onto our hard drives, that we can automatically download games and with the compression technologies available on my PlayStation 3 I have an 80 gig hard drive with both of the Parasite Eve games. Now keep in mind both system discs system discs both PlayStation discs were made it up to a gig. With the compression technologies that are available nowadays it's I downloaded only about 256 MB. MB? Seriously? These games used to take so long to load that you could step out of the room, make yourself a sandwich, and come back. My favorite was always making a cup of coffee and then coming back to the game after a non-skippable FMV. Seriously, we're spoiled nowadays. We don't have the load times like we used to. And that is a gift, but it's also... Well, it's a gift. There's no curse to it. We don't have Mega Man Command Mission X. We don't have numerous games that we can just throw under the bus because their load times were terrible. This, people gripe about what we experience today now as gamers. As a gamer, I'm happy not to have the load times. However, still, video gaming <laughs> is drastically different than it was when we were all children, folks. I'm 31 years old now. And to tell you the truth, it's much better. But still, a part of me likes the old cartridge games, likes the old ROM-based games. Unfortunately, we'll never see ROM-based technology again. Well, we may in the handhelds, but still. I'm glad that everything can be done in seconds now instead of waiting for one scene to load or another scene to load or having a scratch on the disc which can drastically alter its performance even during the play with Mega Man Command Mission X part of it is the so cap the other part is that the disc was scratched I am so happy that we can now download things to hard drives instead of having to worry about having a scratch on a disc. I know I recently I had purchased Madden 2009 when it had come out for the Xbox 360 and lo and behold brand new game in plastic wrap scratches won't play. And I think having the ability to buy games to automatically play with the compression technologies is a godsend. Older games especially. Especially because I'm really not 
into the newer games, into the newer technologies. As you can tell, I do mostly retro gaming, and that's what I focus on. But not having load times is perhaps one of the best situations for enjoying old-time classic games. I remember having a Pentium 150 and a Pentium 133 when I was 14 or 15, and they were both terrible, even as computers, even though only two or three years apart. They were terrible. I was trying to play Sega Smash Pack, and it was abysmal. So really, we're lucky. Console-wise, we're lucky. Computer-wise, we're lucky. Rant, rave, love, hate. Click that subscribe button, folks. You're doing me a favor. You're keeping my show on the air. If you don't know, I'm also on Patreon. Come on, folks. Donate a dollar or two here or there. It keeps my show on the air. It keeps you happy.